Hey everyone, this time, I read a book. I actually sat through an entire book and read it for once in a long time. It's called Mambo in Chinatown by Jean Kwok. I don't know how to say it, sorry. But, there you go. There you go. There's the word. So, um, we just going to read the summary before I go into more. The elder daughter of a ballerina and a noodle maker. Immigrants from Beijing... Charlie Wong grew up in Manhattan's Chinatown, although she is an ABC, American-born Chinese. At 22, she has hardly left that neighborhood, her entire world fitting within its familiar boundaries. She still lives in the only apartment she has ever known, a tiny one-bedroom she shares with her widower father and 11-year-old sister. And she works as a dishwasher at the neighborhood noodle shop that employs her father. Neither academically gifted like her sister, nor exceptionally pretty like her neighbor, Charlie does her best to accept her limited options, taking joy in helping to raise her sister and support her father and practicing Tai Chi whenever she can. When Charlie then surprises her, even herself by landing a job as a receptionist at a ballroom dance studio uptown, her expectations are upended. Far from the streets of Chinatown, she is introduced to an entirely new world. One that encourages her to imagine a bigger life than what she has known, keeping it an elaborate secret from her father, with his suspicion of all things Western. She spends more and more time at the dance studio, and awkward Charlie's natural talents and dreams begin to emerge. But as a local witch has told her, what one sister gains, shall the other lose. And soon enough, Charlie's blossoming coincides with the appearance of chronic illness in her younger sister. With his distrust of Western medicine, her traditional father insists on treating his ailing child exclusively with Eastern practices, to no avail. Charlie is forced to try to reconcile her two selves and her two worlds, Eastern and Western, old and new, to rescue her sister without sacrificing her newfound confidence and identity. Written with the same warmth that propelled Jean's best-selling Girl in Translation into the hearts of the readers nationwide, Mambo in Chinatown is a page-turning novel about a young woman torn between her family duties in Chinatown and her secret escapades, escapes, sorry, into a more Western world. Okay. I got it at Dollar Tree. This is another Dollar Tree book, by the way. So, I got it for a dollar. So, okay. Gonna talk some basics. It's in first person. You know, point of view, like, she, it isn't she, he, it's I, you, that type of thing. Um, let's see. I did write a couple of quotes down from it, and that's what y'all are going to hear. It is when you become one with your body and soul. That is when you will be whole. That is beauty. Because, okay, this girl in the story has never thought she was beautiful or anything, but when you wear frumpy clothes and never put on makeup, never do anything beyond exist, it's hard to tell. But then she starts dancing, and people can see that in her, and she starts gaining confidence, which makes her, which is part of beauty, really. So, which she starts as in a receptionist in at the dance studio, but then she screws up the schedule, and they're like, we see you on dance, you want to you wanna try that? Mm -hmm. And it ends up working out, you know. Though she has to lie to her father about it, because he's against it. His wife was a dancer, though. Go figure. Which the sister started having problems. And you end up finding that something, someone did something horrible to her. And it's not going to be the first person you guess, unless if you're not like me, then, then maybe you'll guess who it is. But, I mean, oh yeah, by the way, there's no extreme detail in dancing, so if you're not, if you don't know about dancing like me, you're good. But if you're looking for really detailed stuff on dancing due to you're in the dancing profession or something, yeah. Yeah. Um, she even enters a competition and has great fun in it. She doesn't She doesn't necessarily win, but hey, you know. I, know. I thought I wrote down another quote. But apparently not. Okay, but her mother died when she was young due to a sickness, which her sister seems to have. You find out more about that in the books. I don't want to spoil it all, but this one I'm going to tell you. Let's see. Let's see. Price. Originally. 
was $27.95 American dollars. For Canada, it was $32.95. So, um, for that price, I would be very unhappy with this book. This book ain't thick enough for that price. It's, I think, 370 pages. Mm -mm, Stephen King's cheaper than this. I love Stephen King. And I don't think I'd bought his books for that much. But, um, for a dollar, it's pretty good. Um, I suggest y'all check it out. You know, this is, this is the Reaper's Book Club, apparently, now. Um, I don't know why I like this so much, really, but it isn't poorly written. I mean, it's way better than Twilight, but, well, not, yeah, Twilight, yeah. And definitely, definitely better than Fifty Shades, okay? I mean, of course, if you're looking for smut BDSM, this is, this is not the book for you. It is, I wonder if it says rated for a certain age group. Hmm. Probably not. Because, I mean, while there is sex in this book, there is no detail of sex. It's more of a, mm, they got in bed. Mm hmm You know what they did from there. Let's see. Usually under... You know, the ISBN where it says, like, one Chinese-American woman fiction, that type of thing. Usually it'll say who it's geared towards and it does not. So, there you go. Um, my personal opinion, teenagers are up. More, I guess it, I wouldn't let it go lower than teenager, but then again, that's me. I'm getting old. My old fashion. God help me. Anyway, for a dollar, good book. Very good book. I enjoyed it. It made me laugh. Didn't make me cry, but it didn't make me worry about the sister. And made me laugh, which is better than a lot of books, movies, and stuff I've done in my lifetime. So, if you think the dancing thing sounds interesting, which it doesn't, it focuses on that in the sense of it's a part of her life. And there is drama involved. But it's not everything. So, if you like that type of stuff, check it out. If not, maybe next time I'll read a book you like. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. I suggest this book. I recommend it. And I want to thank y'all for watching. I hope you have a nice day, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.